Hey curious people, how are you doing? Um, what a week it's been. So I just wanted to show you what I got out of the monitors. So this is all the uh, surplus metal. Um, all just for shred. You can see quite some quantity of it. Bags and bags. Um, so that's all just the light iron. But then we've also got these beauties. Now this is um, screens, the thick plastic out of the screens. It's like a really thick perspex. Um, these are brilliant. I've always saved these. I've never had this quantity in one go, obviously. Um, but I am going to make myself a greenhouse, a mini greenhouse with these. Um, they're perfect, nice and thick. I mean, super strong and it's gonna be perfect for germinating my seeds. I'm gonna put them around a frame I've already got um, that normally just has a really weak cover that rips every year. So I'm gonna recycle those into that. So I'm really thrilled with that. Obviously I keep all of the um, holographic sheets that come out as well and some of the clearer sheets uh, just for creations of some description. And then these are the aluminium backings uh, that I got. Uh, there's a whole pile there of just aluminium, which is awesome. That's just some data cable, which I'm not going to strip. And then we come to this load of goodies. Oh, that's shred as well over there. These I'm going to keep because they're solid stands uh, and they're brilliant. Um, I can definitely make something out of those. There's a couple. I just need a new base plate for that one because the base plate was plastic and rubbish. And then I've got all of these goodies. So uh, we'll start with the cord that I got. So I stripped uh, the cord on Dan's live stream yesterday um, and got all this lovely copper. So there's half a kilo of copper there, which is awesome. That was heading into landfill. And then all of these components. So I've got these wonderful brackets. I think I showed some of these on Raphael's as well. Um, these are just awesome. And I can definitely utilize these and make legs for things. And um, I'm gonna use some to clamp some legs onto a fire pit out of a washing machine drum and all different sizes. So these are way too good to chuck into shred. Um, I'll keep these for future products, uh, projects for sure. Uh, ribbon wire, there's a mixture. Some's gold, some isn't. More isn't. Um, but some has got a gold finish on the end of those pins there, as you can see. And then miscellaneous uh, rainbow wire under there. And there's my glasses. Uh, a whole pot of shred screws and stuff. That's all oh, that shouldn't have ended up in there. Oh, it can. Yes, it should. That bit was magnetic, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's all out of the monitors. Uh, all of these off of the screens. Don't know why I'm collecting these, because I am, because I just feel like at some point we might learn there's something good in those. <laughs> so just in case. Um, obviously, you've got your ports, some gold pins in these. You can sell these as is to certain places. Obviously, in the US, I know board sort takes these sort of things. Over here, uh, you'd have to find somewhere any other plugs. Um, I, I have also obviously got a little pot of the main plugs that I have taken in to make some plug soup. So I need to, not in, they're on the patio. I need to do that. I started, I didn't get it hot enough. So I need to do another attempt on that. And then all these power boards. So um, these have all got copper goodies on all of them um you not only have you got obviously your like transformer type things you've got all these coils and you've got the pack units more co coils and spools and there's some gold pins on some of these that were connecting them to these boards uh, and some aluminium heat sinks usually mosfets fuses so actually, I've got a load of goodies to depopulate off of these. Um, they're all similar but different. 
Um, some lovely MOSFETs there. Look at that, wrapped up like a little present of copper for me. Yeah, so pretty awesome. Loads of them. And then some power units. I need to break into to get the goodies out of those. And then these little boards that have got some good chips on them. All got crystals, chips, things with gold pins, connectors. So although um, some of these have actually got gold inside them, uh, and some of the ones they connected to didn't, but these actually in here do. Um, not all of them, but some of them. So you always get into those to have a look. And then you've got these ones, look, with some awesome little chunky chips. Nice. In fact, this is a busy board, this one. A couple of crystals. Tiny, tiny MLCCs and things on here. Got a little fuse. It's not a gold capped one though. But yeah, loads of them. So I am really pleased that I saved these monitors from landfill. Really pleased. And I just processed them in a, in a couple of days after work, just sitting, watching streams. Uh, and then they were done. And the biggest bit really is, is the aftermath of sorting all the components out <laughs> and then actually depopulating because I've got to depopulate because I, I, I just have nowhere to store this stuff. And then um, then you've got your gold flash board. So all of these here, this whole handful are all gold flash boards. Now why oh why would i turn my nose up at these look at them you know dozens of them dozens and dozens and dozens it's brilliant absolutely brilliant so my friends champion those underdogs those monitors <laughs> Look at what they have given me, as well as the massive satisfaction of knowing that I kept them out of landfill. I mean, good times. To me, that's, that's what it's all about. Helping the environment, stacks of goodies for me. It took virtually no time to do them all because there was only like two or three different uh, brands there. Once you start, it's so easy to then whip through. You know where all the screws are, all the hidden ones that you missed the first couple of times. And you can actually hammer them out really quickly. Obviously, I've got a load of plastic uh, waste with that. Um, I've got a pile of screens. Now, where did I put the screens? Uh, I've got a pile of... Oh, up there. I've got a pile of screens uh, to go off to the recycling centre. Um, and a load of plastic. I've, I've got bags of the plastic in my car. This is just from the most recent lot I did. So that's all to go off to the recycling centre, keeping it all out of landfill. So those screens will be recycled ethically. To me, it's just good times. So yeah, that was the monitors. Ah, yes. Goodies for mama. <laughs> now I've just got to tidy it all up. No. Okay, so I'm trying really hard to sort out this absolutely horrendous mess in here because I can't cope with it, I hate it. I hate mess. And uh, this doesn't look like a shed of someone who hates a mess. <laughs> so, um, I've cleared this area here. Well, I say cleared, it was up to the ceiling. So I've done a pretty good job so far of sorting that area out. Now that stuff is all like the summer pool, pool and all the mats and everything that goes with it. It's so big, there's not, I've got nowhere else to store that. It's going to have to stay in the corner there. Um, but what I want to do is perhaps get my copper tanks up here. Yeah. Um, and maybe just start filling those with copper, I guess. I don't know. Um, so the, I need to do some of the smalls. Um, so once I've sorted this mess out, I'm going to do like a mini 
Gadget Marathon. But basically, I've had to get another bin in. And I'm just going to chuck circuit boards in there for now. I should really separate these gold flash ones, but I haven't got another bin at the moment. So I'm just going to chuck them in. Just going to chuck them in. It's quite satisfying. Because it would be nice to see my workbench and be able to use said workbench because at the moment you know it's almost as bad as Ian's yeah okay that was a bit it's not quite as bad as Ian's so uh, yeah these will be for another fun stripping marathon power packs over there out the way for now um, full of goodies, can't wait to depopulate them. But that's definitely a round to it job. Forests can really depopulate. Let's get rid of some of this other stuff over here that was out of the pallet. But you know, I want to be able to have the space for if I make the fatal error of looking and seeing what pallets they've got, I might just have to get another one. And I certainly can't get another one at the moment. So. Gosh, it's already half full. I'm gonna. My other thing for this summer is to sort the area. Obviously, I want to. I said scrap out that caravan, and get that gone. That's a massive job. And although I'd like to do that in one summer, uh, realistically, it's probably going to take a little bit more than that. But at the very least, what I want to do is get the majority of it emptied. Even if I don't get to actually scrap the thing this summer, and get it empty, then it's almost there. But the space between this shed and the caravan, I want to utilise with some big storage bins. Because then at least I can get the stuff out of here um, and just keep it a bit more orderly in here, you know? That's what I would like. But the other thing is, obviously, this stuff will cost some money. You know, even the storage stuff, it's not cheap. It's not like in the US where we can go around the curbside. The amount of bins and totes I see, and I just think, oh my goodness, they, you know, you can just pick up anything, really. We, we don't have that joy here. If we want it, we've got to buy it. And there's rarely good storage stuff like that that gets chucked out. Mainly because it's so darn expensive, I think. I mean, even a wheelie bin here is about 70 pounds. So yeah, um, it'll, it'll cost money and I also want to make it look nice so I'll have to build some kind of shelter to just so when the caravan's gone we're not st staring at a load of wheelie bins. <laughs> but anyway, right, so that's, that's the boards gone into that bin. But that's actually made quite a difference, I quite like. I like, I like. Um, now these are a different sort of, that, that, that goes in with my plugs, but I'm doing these separately actually. So, separate the gold and silver ribbon wire, because obviously that's different now. It's very low grade, this stuff. It is, it is gold. That one. Yeah, so I'm on my way to sorting this bit out, which is good. It's gold, it's gold. And then we can have a little look at the rest. So, we did manage to get my daughter to school, but I'm not going to lie, it was a really horrendous situation and very upsetting. But she's there, and eventually she settles, so that's something. But, um, yeah, difficult situation that's not going to get resolved anytime soon. Just got to uh, hang on in there, or at least try. This is the other thing, I can't reach my shells because I've got so many... Oh, I don't want another scrap of lunch. <coughs> I just have these gold ones in here to 
keep them separate for now. They're too big to go in the gold tubs. So they're just ping out. And I'll just shove it back on there for now. Out of the way. Okay. My silver ones are full. Oh, it's actually... Got gold tinge to it, that one. Not much, though. I'm going to shove that in here. Shove that in there. Okay, so while I'm pottering, I'm just going to say about this. Um, obviously, most of my, or a lot of my subscribers will know Get Her Done Granny and what happened to her with her house fire last week and what a tragic set of circumstances that is. Uh, now, everybody's pulled together really nicely and erased Mike created a GoFundMe. Um, granny lost everything, and I mean everything in this fire, including all but two of her pets, sadly. Um, and her husband ended up in hospital. I know most of you know this already, but some of you who don't, I'm going to put a link in the description to her GoFundMe. At the moment, there's over seven... At the moment of recording this, as a community, we have raised $7,000 for her because she's going to have to rebuild her house from scratch. Both of her vehicles perished as well because they were close to the house. She's a wonderful lady and she helps everybody out. So if you don't already have Get Her Done Granny, please go and check her out. I know times are hard. If you can't afford to give anything, that's absolutely fine. You could help by running her videos, play her playlists. She's monetized. Every little helps. Anything we can do, uh, even just our support. If you can afford to give something, that's, that's great and that's wonderful. But if you can't, as I say, you know, you can play her videos and you can help that way. And I would really appreciate it if my subscribers would do that for Granny. And thank you everybody so far who's supported already. Um, some people have done some wonderful things um wonderful things and lone star beer reviews he's shaved off his beard he shaved off bits getting to certain amounts and now the whole lot's gone so that's a wonderful thing to do um so you could check him out as well so yeah it's really good i don't want to talk about it too much because i know most of you are already aware but as i say those of you who aren't please go and support get a done granny link in description and just we can just do whatever we can to help her because we wouldn't wish this on anybody and if we can help we absolutely want to all right thanks so okay perhaps i'll just do a little bit more and then uh, come back to you so you don't have to listen to me wittering on basically Does that big one fit in there kind of kind of you know what, it's absolutely amazing what you find on the floor of your workshop. Like, and you think, when did I even scrap that? And it just gets lost in the abyss, you know? Just like, crazy. Craziness. All this stuff down here. I mean, behind this chair, goodness me. Oh, look. Found my duct tape. Been looking for that. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. How does this happen, guys? How does it happen? Yeah, I'm going for it, guys. We're getting in nooks and crannies. Oh, yeah. Oh, the satisfaction of knowing it's going to be a bit tidier. I mean, look at this. It's just the amount of screws alone. I mean, come on now. How does this... Ay, ay, ay. Oh. There we go. That's as good as we're doing right now. Heck yeah. Okay. There are more round twits. And my mind. 
I was thinking of getting a shed mat and then I thought, oh, are you kidding me? I can't get a shed mat. How would I keep a shed mat clean? I mean, it's bad enough with a wooden floor. It would be neon possible. I've had those for like a year. I really need to sort them out as well. Okay, quick look. Hmm. Uh, that's just, I think I might have kept that for creations, but change my mind. Okay, mm, there's that thing I dropped the other day actually. Uh, now some of those I should test um, with these. Some of these might be brass. That one doesn't look like brass. But some of them are. <sighs> that one isn't. I was correct. And sure it goes. Oh, this is gonna this is some challenge, guys. Some challenge. Okay, ballast. Even I don't take apart ballast. Because they're just full of like it's, it's resiny and a nightmare to get the copper out, so these are ones I've already process but there are a couple of bits in there I still need to do. I've been there for ages. To be honest I've sort of forgotten about them behind there because I haven't cable stripped for ages. So I need to do that. Um because when I was cable stripping the other day I had all this stuff behind there and I was like oh yeah I forgot all about that. So that's uh, that was what was behind there. Oh, my lovely toroid. Heavy. Heavy one. Look at the colour of the workbench there. I haven't seen that colour for quite some time. This is the colour I'm used to. <laughs> I am going to uh, get. metal top for this bench because it's well needed dear me so I need to put those with the stuff for the yard oh I think I've got my phone in my pocket it's hard to bend down with the phone in your pocket okay so just put the bits on here. That's just the power board. I love that. Uh, and these batteries need to come off of there. easy see the little goodie in there look and there and then in the shred something I've been meaning to do for a long time this one, it's just got a little power board on it. There we go. 
I just will. Ooh, very nice. Loads of copper goodies. Loads. Yeah. More batteries for the centre. Switchy bits. Right. And shred. Okay. Well, that's sorted now. Another little. I can go into the further processing tub. Bzz. Although I have done loads over the last couple of weeks indoors while watching TV and things, um, which is always nice to get bits done. Isn't it? Yes. So this dirty rainbow wire, that goes. But this beautiful rainbow wire, that stays for creations. It's too good to dismiss. <laughs> okay, so let's get some scrapping underway finally, shall we? Taking my sweet A time to get on with it. This week for me is sort of all about getting the place and my head straight because. It will make me feel less anxious if my shed is a bit more organised. I've got enough going on at the moment without, you know, anything I can do to make things a bit nicer. Let's do that because that's always a good thing. Okay. Shall we scrap out some of the little guys? I think so. Let's do just that. Look at all the hammer marks in this poor bench. Oh, bit of copper there. Definitely don't want to chuck that away. Oh, and a sneaky power board hiding out there. <laughs> right. Gosh, look at this space. I'm actually going to be able to start stripping some of the cable that came with that pallet. Well, there's a little bit more work space up there, isn't there? Which is quite nice. This is, was, that, was that massager thing. Oh, I missed one. Huh. Okay. Oh, interesting switch in here. Okay, and then the transformer in here. Good old vice crush job. The sheared off bit. So you've got your transformer. Switchy bits. Wire bits. Uh, Quite difficult to tell. No, it's copper at least. And then you've got this massage a bit that looks like aluminium. And it is. So you can just clean off that bit of alley there. And you've got a little bit of aluminium. So that's that little massager not a lot okay so next i've got a shore signal box a vodafone shore signal box that's definitely the vodafone symbol oh yeah look vodafone uh and that's a torque screw right there we're out little dink Now, full of lovelies, these little things. 
I've shown different bits like this before, but they're just, they've got lovely chips. Gold band crystal oscillators, wireless cars, the whole shebang. They're wonderful little things. So, nice little brass standoff. And it is real brass, hurrah. So that means all four of those. Oh no, one's plastic. Just for good measure. So, all these ones are brass, which is wonderful. Lovely little brassy goodness. And then we've got some beautiful gold pins connecting the two boards here. And then you've got lovely chips, gold pins in the ethernet ports. This is gold flash, look at the gold on there. Really bright. Interesting shielding there. Right, let's have a little look. These are pinned in, so might not be the easiest to soldered in those pins. Nice gold band crystal oscillator there. Small but mighty. They add up. Don't ignore the little guys, guys. They add up. No, I'm not going to be able to get that off properly. Where's my splicer? This is what I use for like the BGAs. I think it's just going to be flashing under there. That looks totally flat anyway. So I think this is just this gold flashing. And it's these on the other side that it's shielding. And then the other side, nice chunky MLCCs. Um, copper spools and transformer. Big M&M, &M, that's capacitor. There, nice IC, some gold in here. So yeah, lovely little boards. And then obviously you've got your brass in here too. That's a long, lovely piece too, because um, it goes right through to the second board. So, let's have a little look at these here. Look at that. Goes all the way down. Unfortunately, it is encased in plastic, but you've brass all the way down to there. Sweet. It's only solid for half, the rest is. Uh, hollow, but even so, beautiful. So I might boil those up with the rest of the plug soup to try and soften that plastic there. The orange brass. Okay, so that's the shore signal box. So grab those if you get the chance. They're yummy. Yummy indeed. Okay, Kenwood Chefet. We know that's going to have a nice motor in it. Let's look see. Ooh, big boys. Down, but just not coming any further. Uh, is that it? Wow, look at this. Oh my god, look inside that. Ooh. Gross! Come on now. Ew. Ew. Crikey. I mean, gross. Just gross, man. It's a food product. Okay. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, no, you'll want it. Springy goodness. Right. Golly. Get off. Yeah. I forget myself. Safety first. Okay. Gosh, this thing is the pits. <sighs> nice armature in there. Heavily lacquered though. Heavily lacquered. So this is all cast aluminium, which is very nice. Really pinky copper there. I say copper. Gosh, it is copper. Oh, there's a surprise. That colour, I wasn't expecting that to be copper. But then this is really old, so perhaps that's in its favour, I guess. Hello. Yes. Input. Hey, Johnny Five. Oh, and another one. But this guy's not quite so cool again. Yeah, smooth. Yeah. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. So there we go. That's going to go into... Just going to chuck the whole thing in motors and that can be processed when I do it. Um, nice bits of brass on there. Mm -mm. Yeah. And that's an aluminium fan as well. Woohoo! Steel, steel plate, small plate here, but that big bit's cast. That's good. Okay, before I chuck that in, I need to take some photos of the faces to put on Dan's facey, scrapping faces Facebook page. Because I love that sort of thing. Because how can you look at this and not see a face? Or a whole a whole robot even. <laughs> awesome. Good. Nice goodies. Disgusting, but nice goodies. So I guess I'll let it off. It's amazing, isn't it? The grime you that gathers in something over the years. Oh, hello. Also, more aluminium. Okie dokie. Next. Mm. What shall I, what shall I, what shall I do? Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this was that base, that Toshiba Connect base, which when I first uh, saw these, I thought they were just like a an extra battery base pack thing, uh, which of course isn't what they are at all. Um, it's like connecting two units together. It's obviously some special feature, but. Uh, yeah, so actually there, there's going to be a board in here because you can see or you know, more of a board than what I thought. So, yeah, I want to get into here. Oh, this smells really oily, which is odd. Unless it's just the smell of that other thing just hitting me. Which is a possibility. Right. A lot going on in here actually. I missed the screw there, I think. Yeah, actually, there's several in there. A computer something in that last palette because it was a pretty, pretty 
cool one, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Okay. Is that all of them? Oh, come on. I mean, if the screws are being a pain in the, you know what, that's how we deal with them, guys. Just like that. So, it looks like we've got some coppery goodness there, which obviously I'm not gonna let go. Quite sure how that's attached there. There we go. Nice. Okay, so when it's connecting, it's much like you'd find in an actual laptop. So, you've got your fan, you've got a huge chunky MLCCs on this. Loads of goodies, look. Look at this IC. Okay, Riley, it's massive. Nice chips. It's a floppy disk drive. It's only a floppy disk drive. Oh, this was way older than I realised. It's a floppy drive. Cute. Okey doke. Well, I mean, the rest is probably not of too much interest to you. It's just basically like stripping out a laptop. Uh, got mini, mini coppery bits instead of like huge... There's no like nice copper heat sink in here, which is a bit of a bummer. Because obviously that's for me the best thing about laptops is that nice copper heat sink you normally get. So, is that plastic? Yeah. So yeah, basically I'm not gonna I shall probably finish doing this without you, she says, as she's just whipping through it. <laughs> Cute fan. Cute little fan, more little coffee bits and pieces. But yeah, I've never um, actually seen one of these, so it's actually quite interesting to find out what's inside this. Your ports. Small board, but to be expected. Goes in line with the other components in it. So, regardless of what I said, I've actually brassy goodness loads of ICs on the back here and MLCC's cute not even gold ribboning Sheesh. copper in these but I do like those chunky MLCC's Fuse, but it's not gold capped. Another chunky MLCC. Yeah. Pretty nice. Interest. Oh, now. Oh, you're killing me. If they're brass, that's going to take me forever, but I'm not going to be able to leave it behind. Oh, no. <laughs> they're brass. Oh, dang. Well, now I really will save you the pain of watching me do that. I might just show you my little trick if I can find my little... What you can do is, if I can find my tiny black... This one's too big. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, where did it go? Come on. Um, oh, here it is. So sometimes what you can do is you can actually screw in your tiny mobile phone repair screwdrivers. Oh, look, the whole thing came off. And pull back out the brass. Uh, that's having none of that. So it's going to be a stamp job, which is going to take ages. Boo hiss. Or maybe some hammer time. Depending on... Oh, that one. Got that one. So there you go. That's what I meant. And you can just pull them out. Just going to double check. Yeah, and they're all brass. Sweet. So if I'm lucky enough... Yeah, there you go. I'll be able to pull out most of them. That one came out as well. I'll tell you what, these freebie screwdrivers, is there nothing they can't do? It's just the big ones are tough. They're the ones that are going to cause a problem. But the leverage on the little ones is awesome. So there we go. I'll do the rest of that off camera for you. Because I wouldn't want to bore you to death. Okay, and there you have it. That's... All those little brass bits i just got them out of the thing let me just separate the steel out of these Hang on. there we go no brassy brassy okay so now why wouldn't i take all of those hmm? of course i'm going to and some little copper and potentially stainless steel yep sweet okie dokie why don't we just double check those stainless steel, not brass? Thinking about it. Oh, actually, it's brass. You see the orange in there? Got that wrong. So, copper and brass. I guess that's exactly the same for that bit as well. So, nice goodies. Okay, so I've got this bad boy. <laughs> this is absolutely huge. Um, this, uh, my dad actually got for me. Um, it was being thrown out uh, where he works, so he nabbed it for me. It's a huge motor um, that came with a sw from a swimming pool ventilation system. Perhaps if I release this panel, that might fit through. Let's try that. Where's... Okay. I'm going to hold that spanner in place inside. Let's see. It's still just spinning inside. Really? One. Sheesh. We've got some air in here. Okay, so now I should very much be able to get these off.
Oh, this thing is so heavy. It's going to be pretty hot, so I don't want to... Just need to ease it through. There we go. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. So those are the ones that I had to cut off in there. So this is just a steel outer casing okay pretty nice chunk going on here so now my brick hammer is good but sometimes you need the beef so You know what? That was so much harder than it needed to be. But we got there. Okay. Okay. Let's unplug the angle grinder. Shears are coming. I wanted to hit the... This is so heavy, you know. So unbelievably heavy. So stubborn. Finally! Sheesh! Oh. Okay. Okay, look at that. It's a chunk and a half. This is going to need another couple of cuts just to get that copper out of there. 1300 RPM, 550 watt, 240 volt. Oh.
I do? What is this? Okay guys, well I just thought I'd quickly come back um, to finish off this video. Um, I was disrupted the other day and um, some stuff's happened for me this week that um, has put a few things into perspective, shall we say. And um, I, I haven't basically been able to, had to sort some things, so I haven't been able to come out and um, carry on. So. Um, being out here is my happy place and my therapy and I certainly will be out here um, but I've run out of time for this week's video so I thought I'd just pop back up here just to show you um, what I've done so far with that motor obviously I'm halfway through processing it uh, it's being a bit of a rotter it's all burnt in there um, but yeah so I'm, I'm I've only just started um, getting out the copper uh, and as I say I've run out of time for tonight's video so um, I thought I would just come back out here and just rather than just leaving it halfway through what I'll do is I will um, I'll finish this and I'll pop it onto the start of next week's video so that you can see uh, just how much copper and you know other weight we've got out of that lovely motor so okay guys bit of a random ending I know <laughs> that's time for you um but yes i i will be back next week um uh yeah i won't elaborate any further than that but i i i'm i am here um and i'm going to continue to do what i can because you guys know how much i love my scrapping it is literally the thing that keeps me sane i think so <laughs> i will be around and um, in as many of your live streams as possible because that also keeps me happy and I will see you in next week's one okay right well hopefully we found someone awesome we can go and raid have a great week everybody I'll see you around thanks for watching love you all bye